Hi, I'm making a video today for one of two types of people, maybe you're both types, I'm both types. People who enjoy crafts or sewing and have a lot of pins, um, and people who like to do their hair and have a lot of bobby pins. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make magnetic bobby pin or sewing pin dishes. It's very, very easy, but I thought it'd be a nice, quick, crafty thing to do. Um, currently in Poundland in the UK, they have these really kitsch, retro, kind of inspired fruit dishes. Um, I've got the watermelon and the lemon, and the little ceramic dishes. Um, with about a centimetre, maybe just under a centimetre lip there, and they're relatively thin. And I've not taken the sticky off the back of that one, but I have, so we'll do this one. Okay, so a little lip there, perfect for holding little sewing supplies, your pins, or your bobby pins for when you're doing your hair, because my husband, uh, every time he finds a bobby pin, he throws it away. So I buy them in huge boxes from Sally's, um, and I do try not to leave them everywhere, but I do generally leave them everywhere. It doesn't help that they're like, like they can be in my hair for weeks without me even realising they're there, which is ridiculous, but true. Now I saw this on Instagram and I thought I'd saved it. Um, and if this is your idea, then please let me know so I can credit you. Um, and I'm sure I'll recognise your name as soon as I see it, but I just couldn't find it again. So yeah, this isn't my idea. I saw it on Instagram and I thought you'd like it. Um, but and I wish I could credit the person I saw who posted it first, but I can't because I can't remember. Um, yeah, but I hope you like it anyway. For this video, you're going to need some super glue. I use Gorilla Glue. I'm using these strong coin magnets from Amazon, they'll be linked down below. And you just need to put the super glue in evenly spaced dots around the base of your chosen dish. You want to make sure that there's enough room between the dots that the magnets don't attract each other when you put them onto the dots, if that, was, if that makes sense. Um, they're very, very strong magnets. Obviously the stronger magnet you can use the better for the efficacy of the actual pin dish, but the more tricky this part is. So I've put one, two, three, four, five dots there and I'm going to just place a coin magnet on each glue dot very carefully please be careful do not get this on your skin do um, you will get your fingers stuck together and it's very difficult to get them off and then I'll just pop very carefully adjust and push them in the right so they're centered keep doing that on each one okay last one and pop <laughs> How annoying. Um, so try now very carefully to prise these apart and they're incredibly strong. I'm just holding them still apart from each other so that the super glue has a chance to set. And yeah, that's it, done. I mean, don't look at the bottom, but no one's going to see the bottom anyway, so it's fine. Thank you so much for watching. Please check back soon on Fitfully Vintage for more retro inspired videos. Thank you. Bye.